Hi Aries, welcome back to my channel. If you are returning, if you're new here, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Make sure you subscribe if you resonate with me. This is gonna be good for Aries, uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus placements, or if you are cross-watching, dealing with an Aries, some of these messages may resonate with you as well. Um, energies can be interchangeable as well as um, this could be past, present, or future energy that I'm reading. So keep that in mind. Not every message may be your message. So, so just take what resonates and leave what does not. All right? So Aries, what is coming in for you? Some of you are dealing with a karmic connection. Um, it could feel very toxic at times. It could be something that shows up um, where you have like an instant attraction with someone but it's not meant to last forever but you learn a lot of big lessons uh in this lifetime with this individual so it's definitely like a soul contract that you have with an individual that you're dealing with a very deep connection a very spiritual connection okay what else some of you this could be um or it could start off as a friends with benefits situation or it could just be someone you have a friends with benefits connection with that never really got off the ground um, you guys do have a very strong sexual chemistry with this person, but there's an energy here of it, it being, there being a lot of challenges taking this to the next level or getting things off the ground. So you have a strong message here of being careful not to get hurt. Okay. Some of you are dealing with two separate people. You have a very toxic karmic connection with someone, and then you have a deep soulmate connection with another person. Okay. So that's very specific. That's for those of you dealing with two separate people. Um, interesting. Okay, let's continue. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Sun, Moon, Rising. Some of you are dealing with a Scorpio, um, but you don't have to be. Okay. For some of you, you have someone from the past that's interfering in a connection. This person felt like a wish come true, um, but you and this person may have only been in an open relationship. It feels like a very sacred connection, very spiritual connection. Um, but there's too much interference in that situation. So that's interesting. I feel like this is for those of you who were in that open relationship, friends with benefits situation that never really got off the ground. Some of you, um, this won't be for everyone, but for some of you, um, you could find out that you're pregnant or there could be a pregnancy for some of you, for others of you, um, you have a new love connection that's entering your life. Okay. Someone from your past could definitely be returning and there could be potential for a new start as well. This person could be at a distance from you. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm hearing like it may be hard for you to remain positive about this coming together. For some of you, you're losing hope in a situation. Um, again, with the sexual chemistry. Very strong sexual chemistry with this individual. They could also be a fire sign I'm getting, but you put this person on a pedestal or vice versa, take it how it resonates. Um, you really loved this person or you really love this person, but it just feels like there's too much interference here. So there could be an age difference or a maturity level difference between the two of you, but ultimately this is someone that you, you were willing to go through it with, like you were willing to stick it out for the long haul with this person. But I feel like there's some sort of disconnect here. There's some sort of um, unexpected change in that connection to help you go through some sort of um, transformation. Okay. So let's, um, some of you could be going through a divorce that's very specific, but I do see that here as well. Some of you, there could have been some sort of separation or divorce here. Um, but I do feel like for a lot of you, you have something new coming in or something new wants to come in. Let's, uh, let's continue um, going through your spread. Some of you, this person wants to offer you some sort of apology or this could be your energy. Someone here is definitely either seeking an apology or wanting to apologize for some sort of uh, behavior in the past. Aries. Breakthrough. So someone's going through a breakthrough in this connection. A big transformation. You have very transformative energy here. So something is pushing you to the next level. 
see you've been you've had many cycles with this individual repetitive cycles repetitive patterns um it could have felt very toxic very on and off again as well you may be in a space of really taking stock of the past and asking yourself why you put yourself through such an awful experience with this person having some sort of breakthrough when it comes to that you're learning and growing Aries you have a very um transformative energy here about you I, I feel like this is very specific I'm getting for some of you you may have an on and off again situation with someone or relationship with someone where it's like when any challenges arise, no matter how big or small they are, you're like very quick to be like, nope, I'm done. I'm over it. Because you've been through many repetitive cycles with this person. So some of you are, are learning how to overcome that. You may share some unwanted habits or traits with someone here. Um, and it's to reflect something back to yourself. You and this person mirror each other in a lot of ways. Some sort of lesson. This connection could be blocked by a third party or outside influences here. Some of you could be traveling, or again, I'm getting distance between the two of you. See, and there's that new energy too. Some of you are definitely um, open for something new or something new wants to come in. Yeah, some of you could definitely be in a marriage or going through a divorce, or this could be your person. All right, what else for Aries? Aries, Aries, Aries. There's a lot of anxiety over this, a lot of fears and anxiety over this connection or over losing someone. Some of you feel very trapped to a situation and you're at a crossroads trying to decide what it is that you truly want, but you feel um, maybe a sense of guilt or that's what I'm getting. Maybe a sense of guilt for betraying someone, for leaving them, or um, some of you could have children or a family situation, and you're really at a crossroads trying to decide whether or not you want to move on or how to do so. Some of you have, um, you feel like the love is lost in a connection, but you're bound to this person or feeling trapped to this situation because you guys have some, some sort of like joint responsibilities, children, um, some of you are putting together an exit plan I'm getting. Yeah, you're going through some sort of awakening. A lot of you are going through some sort of awakening here. But whatever you're going through, there's a strong message here of um, you're going to emerge through this stronger than ever. You have, I, I'm getting, this could be two separate connections because I feel like you have an individual who you guys just get each other. The connection feels effortless. I feel like that's tied to like a, that soulmate energy I was picking up on in the beginning. And then you have like this toxic connection that you're trying to move away from. So that's what I'm getting there. Um, but let's, let's jump into your spread, Aries. Yeah, some of you could definitely be at a distance. It could be physical distance or just not really in communication with this person at this time. The person that you have this effortless effortless connection with okay someone has a decision to make here but there's a lot of confusion surrounding making the decision someone could have withdrew their energy to take time to get clarity on what to do okay so let's um let's look at your person and we'll look at you as well but we'll start with your person take what side resonates um also messages can be interchangeable so just take what resonates and leave what doesn't so we're gonna look at your person aries what are they thinking about when it comes to you? <laughs> They're thinking about you. Aries, the emperor. You are on their mind. Oh my gosh, I'm hearing that song. Um, every little thing I do, you're on my mind. You're on my mind. <laughs> so you're definitely on this person's mind, Aries. You may not even know it though, I'm getting. Could be an age difference between the two of you for sure. Someone could definitely be very dominant. Um, I'm getting like strong military, police, something like that. Very dominant energy. What else? What are they thinking about? The Five of Cups. A missed opportunity, regrets of the past. Somebody's really thinking about if somebody did you wrong in the past, they're really regretting that. They're thinking a lot about that, Aries. They're thinking a lot about your connection. How deep your guys' connection is. Some of you, they're thinking about maybe starting something new. Starting over. Um, for some of you, you have detached from this person already. For others of you, you're going through this now. But this person has some regrets. That's what they're thinking about. 
How do they feel towards you? The chariot. Could be dealing with a cancer. They want to move towards you. They want a victory here. Knight of Cups. They feel emotions for you. Uh, for, again, for some of you, they feel like you're, you're far. You're out of reach here. This person feels like they want to take action towards you and offer you something. I'm getting really strong like an apology or a love offer, something like that. Um, how do they view you, Aries? How do they view you? Eight of Pentacles. They view you as you could be working really hard right now. Um, King of Swords. Could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But they view you as very cold and detached. Um, withdrawing your energy. Make it, making head over heart decisions. Okay? That's how they view you. Putting in work in other areas. You're a very hard worker. For some of you, they view you as you're, you're trying really hard to cut this person out or set some sort of clear boundaries with this individual. What is on your mind, Aries? What are you thinking about when it comes to this connection? What are you thinking about? Two of Wands. So you could be at, you could be the individual at, at a crossroads here, trying to decide what path to take, what to do. It's like you know what the better choice is or what option you want to move towards, but you feel like you're at a crossroads. You could um, be taking some time to get clarity on the situation before making a decision, and that's what you're thinking about. How do you feel towards this person? Nine of Pentacles. So for some of you, you feel like you you need to, um, I'm hearing like get your groove back, or you need to, you feel like you're in a space of being stable by yourself or feeling confident in yourself. Um, and this is very independent energy. So some of you are in this space right now. Others of you are trying to get to that space. And that's what you're focusing on. You're focusing on um, your pentacles, your stability. How do you view your person, Aries? Two of swords. So some of you could be dealing with a Gemini, but you don't have to be. But you could view this person. Yeah, some of you view them as they backstabbed you or they betrayed you in some kind of way. Um, some of you may view this person as greedy or selfish. You view them as not really seeing things clearly or I'm hearing like aloof or you view them as just not not really taking action not really doing what they what they need to do what's the mutual energy between the two of you queen of swords and the ace of wands and the empress see there's that some of you could definitely be dealing with a pregnancy but others of you the mutual energy here is you're setting boundaries you're cutting someone out going towards something new possibly for some of you there is a new start here it's, it's going to be different for everyone. But there's a lot of new creative energy here. Some of you are really in a space of working on a project or creating something new or working really hard towards something that you're passionate about. What's the blockage in this connection? Page of Cups. Communication. Um, communication. King of Pentacles. Stability. Could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But yeah, I'm getting really strong. Some sort of communication and lack of stability in this connection is in the blockage. For some of you, it is literally a husband or a wife that's in the blockage. For those of you dealing with a third party. Um, but for most of you, I'm getting just a lack of stability is in the blockage. What's the outcome? Someone's taking action here. Six of Cups. Someone from your past is returning and it's a wish fulfillment. So for those of you who are trying to get out of a third party situation or move away from a situation that you feel trapped in, this could be you or your person. Um, I do see that and someone returning from your past, that's a wish fulfillment for you. Something that you've been waiting for. A situation with someone or someone where there is a situation where it was just like a friend or it could be a childhood friend or somebody you've known for a while, someone from your past, that things never really got off the ground. You guys have a deep connection. Um, but it was never a serious relationship because there was too much interference in that connection. If that's resonating, for whoever that's resonating with, that person's coming back. And there's a wish, fu wish fulfillment here in that reconciliation. Um, but somebody has to move out of this karmic connection for that to come together. So I do see that here. 
All right, someone, yeah, someone feels very trapped to a situation. And really wanting to strategize an exit plan or um, a way to move away from that. All right, so let's see, what would they say to Aries? Ooh, we got a lot coming out here. Okay. <laughs> Our love was too intense for me to handle. I needed to break away. I feel like that's that situation, the person from the past. You are the love of my life. I didn't figure that out before. I know now that it's true. Our relationship was different and special. Other people didn't understand it. I should have believed in you. You always had my best interests at heart. I need to be alone now. Someone's withdrawing here or someone withdrew. You're so beautiful to me. You have a lot that flew out, so I'm confused. I don't know if this will work out. I'm feeling lost and I don't know what to do about it. I always look for you at airports as if we'll be at the same place in the world. My emotions are like a roller coaster right now. Time has brought me clarity about us. I made the wrong choices. I'm telling you guys, someone from your past is coming back. Someone had some sort of awakening or realization about your connection. I don't know if I can live up to your image of me. It's easier to be in a superficial relationship than with you. That's for those of you in a third party. All right, so let me draw um, an oracle card for you before I close this out. Aries, what does Aries need to know? You got two. The answers you need are coming. So see, some sort of communication is definitely coming. I like that it's blue too. Communication. Gemini. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Gemini. Show the world the real you. So someone is opening up here. Someone's ready to show you the real them. Someone's ready to open up and express how they feel. Someone allowed um, or needed time, needed to withdraw to realize what this was. So... That's what I have for you, Aries. I hope that resonated and brought clarity to your situation. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know, and I'll talk to you guys soon.